Welcome back to this special Juneteenth edition of Houston Life. For 30 years, local artist Reginald C. Adams has been connecting communities and inspiring hope through his art. In fact, his mural in Galveston titled Absolute Equality honors the history of emancipation, freedom, and unity. And now his art has inspired a movement in other cities. Here's more on his story. To be able to work on a mural like the Absolute Equality mural in Galveston is really a dream come true for such an important cause, such as the freedom and emancipation of an entire culture of people. I couldn't have asked for a better opportunity or bigger platform to have a voice around such a significant moment in American history. I'm Reginald Adams, and I'm the founder of Absolute Equality Juneteenth Mural Project. The Absolute Equality Juneteenth Mural Project in Galveston, Texas, the birthplace of Juneteenth, was really inspired by the Juneteenth Legacy Project. It's a small group of concerned citizens who are very interested in elevating the world's awareness of Juneteenth. And so it was through their interest and their outreach to me that that mural came to life. The Galveston mural covers about 500 years of history. It's very specific to the Galveston area. It starts with the transatlantic slave trade, and then we move into this moment in time around 1528 when Estevanico, which was a North African Moor, he was enslaved by the Portuguese government, and he led an expedition to the Americas. His ship was shipwrecked in Galveston Bay, so he gets noted as one of the first North Africans to arrive in the Galveston area. We then feature a vignette of Harriet Tubman. Many of us don't realize that the Underground Railroad not only ran to the north, to Canada, and to those freed states, but also ran south to Mexico, which had abolished slavery dozens of years earlier than America had. Then we have President Abraham Lincoln and his role in announcing the Emancipation Proclamation in 1862. And then we move further into a focal point that really brings us at to that moment on June 19 in 1865, where Major Gordon Granger and thousands of black soldiers came from Louisiana to Texas, essentially to enforce martial law with what we know and now know as the General Order Number no. 3. And this was the document that essentially emancipated over 250,000 enslaved blacks here in Texas. And then towards the very far end of the mural, we have an astronaut looking out to this celestial landscape, raising the question, will we take these same ideas around race and culture and nationality to outer space as we think about colonizing other planets? So it took us over 1,296 man hours to actually paint that mural amongst six artists. We moved about 320 gallons of paint over 27 days to bring this 5,000 square foot work of art to life. Since 2021, we have now produced 13 absolute equality murals across the country, including Houston, Dallas, Chicago, Detroit, Philadelphia, Miami twice, now we're in Atlanta, Los Angeles, Washington, D.C., and Denver, Colorado. Every mural is unique to the location itself. There are stories that rise to the surface as we talk to community leaders, even bringing in the artist ideas and their own input. So every mural is unique and different, but they all speak to the spirit of Juneteenth across the country. So for example, in the mural in Washington, D.C., we chose to focus paying homage to Frederick Douglass. Um, he saw education as the pathway to emancipation. In Los Angeles, we have a mural that's very colorful, very bright, very bold, kind of celebrating the diversity of cultures. But we have a huge mural, over 300 feet long, that really kind of defines 500 years of history of black culture in Atlanta. Well, there was a moment when we were painting the mural in Galveston. I realized in the very building that we're painting this mural, this mural of emancipation and freedom, 160 years prior, my ancestors would have been traded like cargo, like cotton, like cattle. And so I saw myself as my ancestors' wildest imagination. I couldn't imagine them dreaming that 150 years later, a black artist would be painting their story on this wall. So I take very seriously the opportunity to spread this message and I'm very fortunate to be able to use my creativity to do so. This idea of recognizing that we're all equal despite our social, economic, 
national backgrounds, our social, our sexual orientations. And so I think it's really important to have such a powerful statement to remind us of what we should be in pursuit of. To see a mural turn from a mural into a movement has really been inspiring. What I hope people get from viewing the mural really is a sense of hope and inspiration. I hope it creates new conversations around Juneteenth, African American culture, and American history. And I hope it also puts a smile on people's faces. It's bold, it's bright, it's colorful, but most importantly, I hope they're inspired and, and perhaps can make changes in their own community around how we can work together in the pursuit of absolute equality. In 2025, Reginald's work will expand to seven additional cities, transforming ordinary walls into beautiful works of art representing equality. For a link to follow his journey, you can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv.